Hive. Facebook Live, Facebook Live. We have arrived one more time. Uh, let, let's get ready. Let's get ready to get it in, y'all. Oh, this thing is jumping around, I'm trying to figure out what's going on with it. We f we're fighting for the best connection, y'all. That, that's the goal. So here we go. Conference muted. Conference recording started. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo to Israel. Also known as Pastor Derek Mann on the order what I see to scripture study and prayer line on his fifth day in November 2020. What's up, Jackie? <clears throat> Good to see you all. Nicole Robinson, Nicole Don Dean. Y'all feel free. Hallelujah. We got uh, to push the share button. <clears throat> we got uh, a demeanor up in here. Matty Yahoo Dolls. Slid up in here. We got a fee up in here and Yosef Elder. Hallelujah. So let's get ready, y'all. <coughs> let's get ready to get it in, right? This is the day the Yah's made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm not gonna keep y'all longer than <coughs> What 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 uh I believe the most high is leading me to keep you. Let's go let's go to Hebrews this morning, Hebrews twelve. <clears throat> go to Hebrews twelve. Hebrews he, Hebrews twelve and let's begin at the fourteenth verse, right? <clears throat> look 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 what it says. It says <clears throat> Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man sh shall see Yah. <clears throat> um, that is a very important, <clears throat> that's important scripture probably more important than you know than what meets the eye a person a person can read this right follow peace with all men and holiness without no man shall see you know yeah and and then they'll think you know it is it, it's, it's probably a good idea to be peaceful that's that's probably with what a person you know will walk away with <clears throat> But <clears throat> the thing that sticks out in this scripture to me is without it, no man shall see Yah. You, you want to get cut off? Yeah, I know, I know you're religious. I, I know you say you love Yah and <clears throat> You got revelations. This says you not going to see Yah. Okay, what you do? You, you're not going to see him according to the scripture. You, you're not going to see Yah. That's a game changer right there. What's up, MacArthur? Good to see you all, man. Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall, you ain't going to see the most high. <clears throat> we, we all should be striving to, to see the most high, right? This scripture discloses a conclusion of someone that, that don't walk in the spirit of love that don't walk in the spirit of unity, that don't walk in the spirit of uh, 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 camaraderie, don't, don't walk in, in alliance with his body, his will, his purpose. They're anti. 
that they're going against. And this scripture is disclosing that you're not going to see the most high. <clears throat> to break it down to the personal benefit, because there's a personal benefit in here. It's a character change. Yeah, yeah. According to Romans 12, right, we're going through a mind renewal process because where a lot of us are isn't acceptable. <laughs> This, this is a proving ground. Everybody that is here look like we're facing tribulations. We're, we're facing tribulations. Not only are we facing tribulations, but our loved ones are facing them as well. I'm talking about, I'm talking about some, 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 some terrible times. I, I would offer again, like I did yesterday, I would say, be careful what you ask for, because you might get it. People ask for something and we're right in the brink, right at the closing stage of them of possibly getting it. And then they're going to get it. Oh, you you going to get it. If you get what you asked for, you're going to get it. And I'm not going to disclose exactly what I'm talking about right now. But however, we're facing tribulations like it never hit the planet Earth before. We're, we're facing some tough times right now. And I mean tough, right? Because we're being proven. We're being proven. We're going through a purification process and everybody that belongs to the most high is going to be purified when the smoke clears. And those that don't belong to him is going to get burnt up. Some folks is praying that they don't see this whole thing. Some folks are praying they don't see none of it. And, and if you expect not to see none of it, well, you look good following peace with all people. You need to learn to let grudges go. You, you, you need to learn to, to, to let offenses go. You, you, got, you got to learn how. You can't be the type I remember keeping score, got a tally going on. As much stuff as we personally done done, then we got the audacity to be keeping score, keeping a tally, internalizing wickedness, taking note. Where was your notepad when you was doing the wrong to people? When you were disrespectful and rude, when you left folks out, when you cussed them out. When you stole their man or their woman or broke into their house and keyed their car, where was your notepad then? Because you sure got it out when somebody key your car and want revenge. Look what it says, y'all. It says, follow peace with all men and holiness without no man shall see Yahuwah. You should be pursuing <coughs> Oh, high pursuit. You should be pursuing peace. You, you, conflict resolution. Our, our conflict resolution skills should peak. If you, if you ever looked in the mirror at yourself, if we look in the mirror at ourselves, it'll sharpen our, our, our conflict resolution skills. Because how to resolve conflict is to do onto others what you would have them do on you. So when you were wrong, you still didn't want to get cussed out. You still didn't want to get slapped in the mouth. You still didn't want to get gunned down. When you did wrong, you, you was praying you got away. You weren't praying that you got killed while you was doing wrong. Unless you suicidal. <laughs> Follow peace with all men. And holiness. You, 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 people around you should be provoked to get Yah and to walk according to his will. Just by your presence, you should be the head, the influencer, and not the tail, the influence. People shouldn't be able to come to you and backbite and turn you on your brothers and sisters. Yeah. If somebody came to you uh, uh, talking about your brothers and sisters, you should be a, 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 a vessel of honor. Somebody the most I can use to restore them. 
Follow peace with all men and holiness without no man shall see the most high. Look what it say, y'all. Looking diligently, paying attention, right? Looking diligently, least any man fail of the grace of Yah. Um, so here we go, the Catholicized position, right? R raising up in Christendom, the average person is taught that grace is only like the unmerited favor of Yah. And they paint it like it's mercy. They don't paint, they don't have a true definition of grace. They paint grace as being mercy. They paint grace as I'm this awful sinner, but I'm still saved anyway because of his grace. That's what they painted it. And that's not what it is, exactly the opposite of what grace is. But the average believer, so-called believer, don't know that. They sing that song, Amazing Grace, how, how sweet the sound, to save a wretch like me. They believe that they're this wretch, but they're still saved irregardless of their wretchedness. When the true definition of grace is the ability to stop being the wretch, you're not the wretch anymore. You're not you're, you're not the you're not the you're not the devil child anymore. You're not the wicked person anymore, and you didn't have the ability to stop from being that wicked person. But it was because of His grace. It was because of your faith in His Word that supplied you with the unearnable ability to change, right? In other words, the wage of sin is death. The paycheck for going against the most high is death, right? You're going to die, yeah? Follow peace with all men without no man shall see Yah. You're not going to see Yah if you're not following peace. You're going to die, right? Great grace Grace gives you the ability to obey. Yeah. Because before you couldn't obey. The way of sin was death. We were all sinners. We were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. But because of his grace, because of what the Messiah did, right? The Messiah lived a perfect example, died on that tree, rose again with all power, baptized himself in sight of the believer. You stood at the door and knocked, you heard the word, you opened up, you let the word in. Now the word is going to lead your life and give you the power to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, so you're going to stop committing adultery. You're going to stop fornicating. You're going to stop cussing people out. You're going to stop holding grudges. You're going to stop being wicked and short-tempered and funny style. And the power that's in his word is going to give you the grace to do it because the word stood at the door and knocked. You opened up and let it in. And it's going to change you. So now I can break down 15 a little better. So looking diligent, paying attention. That's what looking diligently means. Looking diligently, at least any man fail on the grace of Yah. How do you fail of the grace of Yah. This is how. Yah can give you the supernatural ability to overcome your lust. You could be in the pornography, you could be real freaky. Feel me? You got a you got a leather leather outfit with the with the with the chains on and, and, and the whip. You got you got the ball in your mouth strapped around the back of your doggone head, tied tight, and you running around here. The most high can deliver you. From you, if you believe, those that believe the word activate the power that's already in the word in their personal lives. The Most High believed the word when he said, let there be light. Guess what happened? There was light. The power of the word is inside of the word and the believer is the beneficiary of that word. So, when you don't believe the word, you don't believe y'all can deliver you, you don't believe y'all can change you, then you're doomed. <clears throat> you're going to do things your way. You're not going to trust y'all. You're going to still think you're a gangster. You're still going to think you're a Mac. You, you don't give yourself permission to go against the word because you really don't believe the word. For Yah so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, 
that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. His son, what did he give? He gave his flesh. He didn't side with his flesh. He gave, he gave his body that we might obtain the word. The, the body brought the word. The body represented mankind. The body represented mankind, and he was standing in the gap for mankind. To, 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 to reconcile us back with the word that was in the body. You try to call the body good. He said, there's none good but the word. There's none good but Yah. <clears throat> in the beginning was the word. The word was with Yah. The word was Yah. When he said, there's none good but Yah, he's talking about there's none good but the word because the word is Yah. We're being reconciled with the word, not our humanity. Where is sin? It's in my human nature. That's why I'm mortifying and I'm going against it. Looking diligently, at least any man fail the grace. He'll give you grace to change if you want to change. But you got some people that don't want to change. They're happy with being a liar, a hustler, a pimp, a thief, a gangster, a cunning, slick, scandalous. They, li they like it. They've been Catholicized. They got a fake form of a relationship with the Most High. Having a form of yalliness, but denying the power, but denying the power thereof, the power to change. So how do you fail the grace by not believing? How do you fail the grace but not wanting to do what it takes to, 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 to walk in that faith? Some, some people... Uh, uh, don't want to give up stuff, don't want to suffer. And because of this, th th they fail the grace. Yeah, you, you, you definitely can fail the grace. Uh-huh. You, you, you can fail the grace of y'all. Hold on, y'all. Screen closed, don't it? Looking diligently. Least any man should fail of the grace of Yah. Watch this. Least any root of bitterness. Oh, I need some more time to teach this part. Least any root of bitterness springing up trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. Look at this. No, I'm going to read the next verse, too, because I want to take some time on this, right? Least there be any fornication, any fornicator, rather, Least there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau, who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. I'm going to work from 16 back up, right? Listen to this. Least, any, it, least there be any fornicator, right? Sexually perverted people that just like to have a good time. You know, meet somebody nice. They smell good. Good perfume, good cologne. They, they cut up. Some people got a shoe fetish. They looking at the shoes. Ooh, I like his shoes. <clears throat> And they just like to roll around and just rub and feel good. You know, they want, of course, to be a gentleman or a gentlewoman. You know, be nice to me, buy me something, get the door for me. Oh, yeah, I'm going to roll around with you, right? Fornicator, like perversion. Some people like to get it on the screen. They get it on the screen, get them. I ain't going into all that. Y'all know what folks do, right? At least there be any for. I'm trying to show you the times we live in. It's completely perverted. P folks going to start acting like, oh. Oh, you listen to what he's saying, you rascal, you. You know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> Least there be any fornicator, right? Sexually perverted person. How did they become like that? Or profane person. The word is describing them as profane. You're scandalous. You got a bunch of secrets. You're not cool. You slither. You move. You slick. As Esau, now we have a prototype. Esau. Who for one morsel of meat, listen to this, one meal, y'all. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. So let's look at this. <clears throat> the meal is described as something insignificant and small. Let's add to the small. He was hungry as heck to the point that it seemed like he was going to die. Did you know, serving the most high, you can get to the point that you're starving in your flesh. You could be starving for companionship. You could be starving for money. 
You can just be tired of going through and suffering and it causes your body to crave, right? He craved to the point that he was willing to sell his birthright for one meal. Did he out the blue become willing to sell his soul for one meal? Was it just spontaneity? Was it spontaneous? Or was something cooking in him already that, that pushed him to the point that he would sell the most high out for a tic tac? He would sell the most high out for a thought. You know how people live. <clears throat> you leave the the, the 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 top off the toothpaste, and then you and then and then she filed for divorce. Do you think it was that the top on the toothpaste that caused her to file for divorce? If you believe that, you out your doggone mind. So do you believe that he sold his birthright for one meal? If you believe that, you better reinvestigate. There was something cooking. There was a root inside of him. There was a root. Something was cooking. Something had already been inside of him. People that move against you, they're moving against you from a root of something. It's a root. It, 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 you, you think it just came out of nowhere. No, it didn't just come out of nowhere. Uh-uh. No, no, no. You, you got some folks around you that been not liking you. You got some folks around you been hating on you, been looking at you cross-eyed, been sizing you up, been taking notes, been plotting, and it's growing. It's like a cancer, a fungus, and it's growing. Oh, I'm telling you something. Look. So back to 15, looking diligently, at least any man fell of the grace, the ability to be transformed into the children of the most high, all the way to the finish line. He that endured to the end going to be saved. Looking diligently, at least any man fell. You come up short. You flunked the grace. Catholicism teaches that grace is going to carry you over. You can fail it. The scripture said, at least any man fail of the grace of Yah. Not just any grace. The grace to be saved came from Yah. You can fail it and not be saved. That kills that false doctrine of, oh, we're saved by his grace, huh? Uh, uh, like the, the, kind, the type of grace that forces you to be saved. No, 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 no. The, the type of grace, the real type of grace helps you be saved. It, 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 it can deliver you blameless if you believe, if you trust him, if you're willing to do what it takes to get it done, the grace will give you the power to get it done. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something today. Looking diligently, at least any man fell of the grace of Yah, at least any root. You look at a plant, you see the plant go down, go down under the ground. There's a root. <clears throat> How many of y'all got roots in you? The root of bitterness. Folks walk around and cut the flower that you can see over the ground. Cut the weeds that you can see over the ground. But it's going to grow back. Because there's a root. You got folks smiling in your face with a root in them. It's a root. Yeah. Yeah. There is a straw that will go and break the camel's back. Eventually, you move wrong. Everything you do look funny to them. You do something, they looking. Something happened. You got folks that got alts with y'all. They don't like him. And when something happened, they take it out on him because they got a root in them of wickedness. Let me tell you something. You got Luciferians that serve Satan and they're down with Satan and his position against Yah. They took his side. They look at Yah like Lucifer look at Yah. They got a problem with him like the devil do. That's why they serve Satan and they on Satan's side. 
You got folks that's against the body. You got folks that's against the people of Yah. And they on Satan's side. Some people on Satan's side don't even know it. They look at the people of Yah and the things of Yah like Satan do. That's why he said if you hate your brother without a cause, you're a murderer. Any small thing can cause you to turn on your brothers and sisters. You got a problem with the people that, that's a part of the ecclesia. The word teaches that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. And he got children that's accuser of the brother. They're looking at the people of y'all wrong. They're not looking at the fact they saved and, and trying to grow. They, they got issues with people. They're confrontational in their heart against the people of y'all. They don't have to move yet, but the root is already there. You got folks that will smile in your face, but they really don't like you. They're paying attention to you like the devil would pay attention to you. Remember in the um, Matthew 4, when the, m m when the Messiah was led of the spirit to be tempted of the devil? Remember that? And remember he whooped him those three times, put the word on him, and then, and then he told him, uh, 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 told him to flee, right? Told him to flee, and, 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 and he had to flee because the word told him to. There's power in the word. He had to flee. But if you look up uh, uh, the flee in, in the origin, it means he, he, he veered back and was studying him. He was watching the Messiah because he's still trying to kill him. You got people that watch one another, not with the spirit of love, not with the spirit of forgiveness, watching you with a suspicious, a suspicious, uneasy eye. That's the devil's job. If you got a spirit like that, you got to get rid of it. It makes you work for the enemy. You see things that don't look right to you. You don't know. How many times have we saw stuff and we didn't know what we was talking about? We thought we was right, we was wrong. That happened to me so many times. I can teach on it like it's the thing to do. I've seen things one way when it actually was another, and it happens all the time. That's why I be, that's why the word teaches be quick to hear, quick to, 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 to check it out, slow to speak, slow to respond, because you don't know. You think you know. And when you evil, you got an evil eye, you're going to go with what you think. You're going to go with what it looked like, because you find with hating on people. You find having grudge. You find looking down your nose at people, which will develop a root in you. Or you're doing it because you already got a root in you, a root of bitterness. You know, folks that go into relationships and they call it baggage. They already got a root in them. Call it baggage from another relationship and they bring it into another one. It's a root of bitterness. At least any root of bitterness springing up and trouble you, and thereby many be defiled. You know people that go from ministry to ministry to ministry to ministry to ministry to ministry. Or you know people that come in and backslide, come in and backslide. <coughs> Have you ever met anybody like that? It's a root of bitterness. And when they come in, the root is still in them. It's still down in there. It's, down, it's below the surface. So they can smile and cooperate with y'all for about 15 minutes. Then they offended again. Then they gone again. Then they, you know, then they got to surf the web to try to find another watchman, another path. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some folks serve y'all as long as things is going cool. If any type of turmoil, any type of problem, or oh, they turning on y'all. He gone. Giving? Nah, I ain't doing that no more. They broke now. Show up, nah, they ain't even got time to call no more. Too busy to call. Root of bitterness. All right, y'all, this is a sermonette. Follow peace with all men, right? Listen, you got to be able to walk in the Ruah. The goal is to walk in the spirit of love, being attached to the body. Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 12, we're all members in particular and we work together. We're working together to encourage one another. And so much the more as we see the day approaching. You're encouraging me. 
I'm encouragement to you, and we're trying to help each other make it to the finish line. I'm trying to teach you something. So follow peace with all men and holiness. Without, you ain't going to see him. I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. And we all in one body working together for one cause that we make it. So we paying attention, looking diligently, lest any man fail. So much for once saved, always saved. You can fail the grace of Yah. Least any root of bitterness. You can become bitter. Sticking around, work for Satan because you're bitter. Don't like people. Having conversations against people. Poisoning people. When people talk to you, they get weaker. They don't get stronger. You have conversations that got people looking at everybody side-eyed. Oh, you shouldn't have did that. You shouldn't have. Oh, they gave that to them. They should have gave that to them. They should have gave that to you. Now they looking all crazy. Now they backslide. Now they don't call in no more. Now they tilted. Now they messed up. And Satan is using you in the ministry to, to kill people. But what will end up happening, y'all will end up killing you if you don't repent. You got to repent. You can't be a vessel that works for Satan in the ministry, having conversations that kill and wound people. Y'all will come for you. Listen what I'm trying to tell you. Looking diligently, pay attention, lest any man fail, come up short, of the, of the unmerited favor of Yah. Least any root of bitterness. When you bitter in you, then you gonna, it's going to come out of you. Root of bitterness springing up. Look, it springs up to come out your mouth. Yeah. Yeah. At least any root of bitterness springing up trouble you. And thereby many be defiled. You defiled. Got to get rid of it. Got to go down in prayer. Got to seek Yah's faith and get this bitterness out of you before it kill you and defile you. Least there be any fornicator. Hey, when folks leave y'all, oh, they don't mind getting in the bed after that, being sexually perverted. Or profane person, they don't mind getting high and drunk, swinging on poles and getting, they don't mind. Because their relation with y'all is severed. So now they're free to be wicked. They're free to live their life until judgment comes. And I'm telling you right now, it's here. Hey. Life is not finna turn back to how it was. You don't want to be profane like Esau, who sold his birthright for one little meal. One little meal will kill if you bitter. It, it, don't, it, don't, it don't take a whole bunch of money. One dollar do it. One dollar do it. Folks will sell their birthright, their relation with Yah. They'll sell out Yah. For anything, let something go wrong. Let something. Let somebody say something you don't like. Look at this in my closing. You when, when, when the player was playing on you and beating on you, you got mad at the people that saw him beat on you. You didn't get mad at him. You got mad at your girlfriend that 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 told you she saw him with another woman. Now you and the players after is is against your best friend. So you can't use that excuse. When, 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 if if you turn on y'all about what other people do or say, because you don't like y'all that much anyway. Because you definitely didn't turn on your man, and he was doing exactly what your friend said. He did flirt with her. You got mad at her. She, he don't want you. Yeah, he do. Yeah, he wants your friend. <clears throat> he mad at her for telling you. <laughs> and you mad at her because you know he wanted her. But it's been exposed. You knew he was cheating from the gate. You just mad because it's exposed. So now you hate anybody to catch him cheating on you. <laughs> Come on, somebody. At least any man, at least any person be profane, profane, and not cool, not cool like Esau, who sold his birthright for the straw that broke the camel's back. And it don't take nothing but a straw to break a back of somebody that's bitter. Get that bitterness out of you and follow peace with all man without no man, nobody. We ain't gonna see him. Let that bitterness go. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you. 
and thank you for this opportunity coming for you humbly as we know how uh, gleaning in the truth of your word um, we need you desperately uh, continue to quicken us, illuminate us, save us even from ourselves give us a revelation not to be offended with your word or the, with truth but be offended with the devil and our, our, our evil actions if our actions are evil reveal our wrong to us that we might be perfected before you that we might be transformed into what you would have us to be that you might deliver us from the wrath to come we want to be delivered from the wrath to come and to be delivered into your presence forgive us for all sins as we forgive those who sin against us and we'll be careful to give you the praise and honor not only now but forever in the matter's name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. Y'all, that was the lesson um, for um, this morning. This is sermonette. I pray you were blessed and got something out of it. Hallelujah. <clears throat> serious lesson, because it was seriously needed. <clears throat> so it went forth. If, if, if you are blessed by the lesson and feel somebody else might be blessed as well, feel free to push the share button. Push the share button so somebody else can be blessed as well. If it was true, push the like button. If you love truth, <clears throat> push the love button. If you're a supporter of this ministry, I say thank you. We appreciate everyone to support the ministry. And again, I say thank you. Or most importantly, uh, the most high thanks you. If if you're being blessed by this ministry and like to become a supporter, it's my job to tell you how. If you got the cash app, just put in dollar sign Yahoo to Israel. That's dollar sign Y-A-H-U. D A H Y I S R A E L. Hallelujah. You can support the ministry like uh, uh like that. Oh, we got a new handle too on Cash App. Uh donate to ministry. That's donate number two ministry. Singular. Donate number two ministry. Just so you know. Um you also can go to our Facebook page. Go to my Facebook page, go to Messenger. There's a giving button inside of there. We're about to get online and talk about the lesson. If you want to join us, all you got to do is dial 302-202-1102, extension 81564 302-202-1102, extension 81564 um, We plan to be back on at noon for prayer and tonight for another prayer at, uh, at 8 p.m. We plan to, I believe, the fellowship with the Tensity's ministry at... Um, at a 7 p.m. Um, yeah, yeah. So if y'all want to join us for those, feel uh, perfectly welcome to do so. Continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Y'all be Baruch and um, uh, Baruch Shalom. I'm gone.